microphone yet? Oh, Two yes, shot singles, of course. please. Jimmy, time's yours now. Okay. So I guess you relate to this girl as being a driven young lady on the way up? Absolutely. Absolutely. She is a very driven young lady who appears in the beginning to be sort of the popular witch and then makes this huge arc and you really get to know her and you realize that she's a girl who's going through the same thing as Casey is. You see that with a lot of girls that their moms have a battle plan for them and they're going to stay on it? Oh, definitely. I've seen a lot of moms... Uh, especially with school mm -hmm. school and even in the skating business or skating sport mm -hmm. it's it's definitely a big thing skating moms you know push push their kids um, but you know I, I think my, my parents have never really pushed me into something I didn't want to do I have my heart and soul in this business so you know I wouldn't be here if I didn't love to do it when did you know you wanted to do this how old were you I was eight months old how many? Eight months old. Michelle was three, and I thought that was young. Eight months old. You're not even. You worried about when you're going to wet your pants again in eight months? I know. How do you know about acting? Um, my mom <coughs> thought I would get some nice baby pictures out of it. Well, that's true. And then I did my first commercial when I was 11 months old, and then started on a soap opera when I was four, um, and did two soap operas for altogether about seven or eight years, almost eight years. Wow. And so it was really, really, really exciting, and I just loved it. I just loved it. If I didn't love it, I absolutely would speak up and say it. And I guess by that point, you know, if you didn't like it, you'd have been burned out on it by that point. You would, wouldn't want to do it anymore. Absolutely. I would have said, Mommy, you know, I don't want to do it, especially yeah. as a young child who has no shame and, and of course, isn't, isn't looking at the, the benefits or, or things that could possibly happen in the future. I was just totally into being a kid, and, but I loved doing what I was doing. But I don't think you would probably recommend this for everybody, would you? Because, I mean, no. you've had a different kind of childhood. Um... I have and I have and I think I've had a pretty good balance. Mm -hmm. I still live in New York, right where I lived, right where I went to school, and I still have the same friends who I went to school for years, and I'm very much outside of the city, very much a normal person. Um, it's, it's a business that you do have to give up a lot. It, there's compromises. I, I personally think it's worth it because it's my dream and that's what I love to do, but for people who are looking at it looking at sort of the benefits of stardom and and you know all that sort of stuff and that's the only no. reason why they do it there it's not gonna happen it's no, just I, mean, I can it, remember hanging around that radio station when everybody else was playing I was there learning how to do what I was doing you yeah. know and uh, you give up a lot you give up a lot of parties you give up a lot of your social life yeah but in the end it it, it all it's great mm -hmm. if you really have your heart and soul into it if you don't and you're trying to convince yourself that you do then things go wrong so you can you skate now I can. I can. Could that's you skate me before? Skating. Me that's skating. you. That's right. That's you. Yeah, me going. I'm actually going backwards, not forward. No, I can go forward. It's the backwards part and turns that I wasn't told. You know what? The backwards is so much easier than forwards. Really? I love backwards. Not, not Didn't for like you, Even in roller skating, I never could con do the concept of backwards too much. Ah, uh, well, roller skating is a lot harder because you don't have the lovely toe pick. Mm -hmm. oh, that's true. The toe pick is very good, isn't it? Very. Not so for forward they, though. They beat you they guys beat up pretty good to teach you what you to teach you at least where you go out there and fake it. Well, we didn't, we didn't fake it, though. We actually learned how to do all of it, yeah. except for, of course, the triple. Mm -hmm. The triples, which are, are doubles. But um, I definitely, definitely learned how to do it, and I really, really, really enjoyed it. There's a blur spin, a scratch spin at the end of my routine, which is really, really, really fun. I taught my, well, my friend Juliana, who plays Zoe, was my best friend, and my, my coach, Mark mm -hmm. and Jamie, taught me to do this, this spin, and I was so proud of myself. And uh, it's actually me at the end of this. They wow. use mine, so it's so, so yeah, excited. So it gives an extra little little bounce, doesn't it? Well, it was a fun movie, and I'm not even the right demo. And I thought it was a good, good, fun, you know, daughter movie. And I've got a bunch of daughters, so they'll all like it. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thanks very much. Wow, did you fall down, bust your butt in? Oh yes. Yeah, I would think so.